At this point, I'm honestly not even sure where we left off, but hello! Hey Word Nerds, happy Wednesday and welcome back to Word Nerd Wednesday where we get caught up on your lives, you get caught up on our lives and all of that fun stuff. It has been a while, thanks to the hiatus. I haven't done one of these in a really long time and I'm not sure where my life was when we left off because things have been changing so rapidly for me in 2018. I have officially moved not to here. We're staying at a friend's house this week as of when I'm filming this, but we have moved. I have a new home right by the lake where I'll be staying until April, at which point I'll be moving again, but I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, I am staying in one place. I am happy to be unpacking my books and life is pretty good. Over the last little while, I've been posting more over on my personal channel about general writing and bookish stuff and doing vlogs about writing as well as trying to learn to code and draw because I like to take on a lot of things at one time, I guess. I don't know, I'm feeling really excited about all of the things. My writing is back on track, thankfully. It has been a really sporadic year when it comes to writing, but thanks to For the Words and a lot of pushing myself to just do the thing I don't want to do, I finally have a game plan for the rest of 2018 and kind of finishing up a couple of ongoing series and then figuring out what I want to do in 2019. Yes, because I'm me, I'm already thinking about the new year and all of my goals for a fresh start of a whole new year to look forward to, but we do still have to get through the rest of 2018 first which is looking pretty okay. I did go through a huge reading slump over the course of the summer. I wasn't reading really any books at all. I kind of started Obsidio in April, read a couple books intermittently in there, but hadn't even really finished that. So I asked Twitter kind of what should I be reading to get out of this slump and Kyra and Emma obliged with some really, really awesome recommendations, which was Tosh Loves Tolstoy and Save the Date. And I sped through both of those books in like a day each. And that kind of got me going in the right direction again. Contemporary is so great for that. And I highly recommend both of those books. I suspect you'll be seeing something from me next week going into more on those recommendations and other recommendations for books that get you out of writing slumps, but that is for next time. For now, I would love to hear from you guys on what you got up to over the summer. What have you been reading? What have you been writing? What other things have been taking your time and getting you excited? I'd love to hear about all of that in the comments down below. And I think that's it for me today. So of course, don't forget to join us on Sunday for our next live chat. It's going to be a lot of fun as always. In the meantime, happy reading, happy writing, and I'll see you next time.